hi friends welcome to java express channel so in the previous video i explained about a simple email notification i hope you guys are practiced that one and we are providing some username and password we enabled less secure apps right so once you are good that part will we can extend that email notification with your own format suppose whenever the build is failed you are receiving some build number job name some message right so those type of things you can customize also by using editable email notification we have another plugin in the jenkins is available so quickly start and let me open my ubuntu system okay see my job is running on 80 so in the previous video we explained about this email notification right so you given your smtp server and default user if you go little bit up we have one more option uh like if you go up yes what it is there let me go up ah uh, yes if you see here there is a extended email notification here a lot of options are customized you can so as the same way you can enable these two okay just to enable smtp authentication provide username and password okay if you don't know any option just click here there is a question mark is available right if you click here you will get like a help section okay so these options are default options if you go if you come down if you see here there is a default recipients reply to the list emergency reroute allowed domains default subject line these all like a customize whatever if you don't know click here here you can say you can read okay customize the default recipient list of the email notifications you can add any number of emails in this particular uh, box okay while creating the job also you can customize suppose while you are sending you are the admin you want to add cc and bcc so you can add those type of things in this uh, particular column okay see they are giving the example instead of putting them into the list if you want add cc and bcc before the email address example also they are giving and the reply to the list here a comma separated list of email addresses to use in the reply to header of the email the value will be a default reply to to the project configuration this is the pro default project configuration it is saying okay next this is a reroute suppose any email address is not available if any field if this field is not empty all emails will be sent to this address so you can customize in this way so what i will do uh, here for default recipient list i am giving my uh, email address okay this is another email address otherwise right now i will give as uh, my channel uh, email address so that you can see the email okay this is my default recipient list okay and if you see here there is a default subject whenever you are receiving an email subject line will be there project name in the jenkins we have environment variables okay project name is one environment variable build number build status if you use a dollar before that means your project name with your project name hyphen build that build number hash you are giving as build number hyphen build status it is a success or not if you want to give just i'm giving as a hyphen in the subject line it will be there in that way this is the default content okay project name build number check console output at the build url to view the results maybe you can provide here java express i'm giving this is a default content okay just go just to save okay this is just configuration level okay now what i will do uh, we can create one job either we can use uh, existing job okay i will create one new job okay so i am clicking the freestyle project the project name will be uh, email underscore job underscore notification i am using and click ok so what i will do i will go for the build environment or you can go for uh, you can trigger uh, 
okay you can give for the git version just you can provide your repository url we will give our repository url so github let me go for jenkins maven so this is your repository url just copy and paste it here okay and you need to provide a general category as your github project your github url you need to provide okay this is your github url okay next build environment just click on the build environment click delete workspace and go for the build step click here you want to add some uh, top level maven targets what i will go uh, i need to the clean then i need to the test i need to deploy either you can do say package this is my job what i will do if it is this okay now it is a package now we'll there is a post build action click here if you see here there is a editable email notification and if previously we used the email notification now you can use editable email notification click here here you have a lot of options you have here okay here we uh, uh, configured something in that uh, uh, configure system tab right that is called here either you can still if you want to edit here you can edit either you can use the same variable names here okay here you can add like uh, i want to send cc uh, to my email address some different email address so you can give then if you want to some another email address some suppose some email id so you can add in this way also okay right now i'm adding this one okay next if you go down here there is a default subject if you use this attribute it will use the build number build status something we are given that content everything we can get and if you see there is an attachment tag if you click here you can exclude anything if you want to can use the wildcards also here if you see attach build log if you don't know here click here this is the set of attachments that will be used for the email this is the format comma separated list of the and include the file syntax and is one more one more uh, build management tool right now that is not required for us click there is a attach build log you want to attach the build log to your email just enable here and click on advanced settings okay there is a present portion script leave, leave that part um, this is the another important point there is a trigger is there right i am closing this one what i will do click add a trigger if you see here lot of uh, things here we have always before build failure first failure second failure any lot of things what i will do whether the my job is fail or either my job is success i want to send every time click here okay and there is a developers and the recipient list two things we have remove the developers remove this one you can add to your recipient list to whom you want to send you configure the recipient list right some just one email id i given just you can use this one and here you can click the advanced option here either you can provide your email address here also right now i'm giving my email address okay channel at the rate gmail.com okay this is one more recipient list you can add the same thing whatever we have trigger when the job will be a trigger what you want to add this is very granular level okay now what i will do click the save now run your job now what will happen we'll see the job is triggered click here and check the console output you can see here mbn clean test package job is running and see email was triggered always so to whom we are sending default recipient list as my email address this is one more email address for that these two emails i will receive an email if you go here just go and check see this is my subject i given as hyphen hyphen right this is the default subject line this is job name build number this is status this is the default content tag 
okay i'm given as java express right this is the default content this is your build log if you open here you can download you can see this is your log file so in this way you need to configure editable email notification we have a lot of advantage i hope you guys are clear we'll see you few more interesting things in the next session thank you guys